Hey, what's up guys? Nick Boyd here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Uh, check the description for everything. And um, what else? Uh, Lee Code and Hackering Solutions are on my channel and playlist. So I'm doing all the linked list problems starting from the ground up. We've done a bunch of them today. Reverse a linked list. There we go. We're getting into some good stuff now. So you're given a pointer to the head node of a linked list. All right. Change the next pointers of the nodes so that their order is reversed. The head pointer may be null, meaning that the initial list is empty. Um, each node has data uh, in the next pointer. So it's just a linear linked list, one, two, three, four, five, null, for example. We want to reverse it so that it's five, four, three, two, one. Now this is hard because it's not a doubly linked list. So you can't just set the pre, you can't, it's a little bit, I think it's a little bit harder than a doubly linked list. Um, you have to, do it kind of strategically. In a doubly linked list, you have a reference to the previous node, but here we're just gonna create our own reference. So first of all, let's don't think about that too much, but um, we're given the head. So first of all, to reverse a linked list that doesn't even have a head, um, so if head is equal to null, guys, we're just gonna return uh, head, right? So that's it. Um, now, what else? What, what if it's an actual list? What if it's an actual list? We're gonna need a reference to the previous node. So right, if we start at the head, we're obviously gonna need a reference to the head so that we can loop through the node. We're gonna loop through the node and we're gonna set, so if we go one, two, three, four, five, we're gonna set two, we're just gonna reverse the arrows. Cause if you notice, that would be five, four, three, two, one if it was pointing the opposite direction. If all the nodes are pointing the opposite direction, that would be a reversal, right? So we want to loop through so that one's next is null two's next is one, three's next is two, four's next is three, five's next is four. And that'll eventually look like this, right? So how do we get the reference to the previous node? Well, we'll start off with a previous node of null because we want the, the node before this one is null. Essentially, we don't see it here, but it is. Um, so we're gonna do singly linked list node. And we already did this on Lee code. I'm just doing it again on HackerRank, but um, it's good to do this because I didn't even remember. I had to work through it. I got it uh, without looking at the solution, but I had to like think about it for a second. So we have a previous node is going to be equal to null, right? Just like, and then we're going to have single length of current node is equal to head. So we're pointing at our head, we're pointing at, and then we're also going to want the next node, and you'll see why we want the next node in a second. Uh, I think we don't declare it yet, though. We'll do, so while current node is dot next, No, while current node is not equal to null because we're looping through the whole thing, right? Um, then we're going to want to do, yeah, we're going to want to get the next node is equal to current node dot next, right? So we're looping through. We're looping through node by node. We're going to have, we're going to grab the next node. So now we have the next node, right? And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to set the current node dot next equal to the previous node, right? So we have the current node, the next node, and the previous node as we loop through. We're looping like in blocks of three. And we set the current nodes, next value is now previous, right? That's gonna reverse the arrows like I said earlier. Now that we've done that, we wanna make sure that the previous node becomes the current node and the current node becomes the next node so that we can keep looping properly. So previous node is going to be equal to current node and current node equals next node and we can't do current node equals current why do we use the next node because we can't do current node equals current dot net current node dot next anymore because we already reset that so that's why we need a reference to this hopefully that makes sense so after all of this we will have looped through and set the current nodes next to the previous node every time We'll make sure the previous node keeps moving along and the current node keeps looping along how they should. And then we get to the end and the very last element um, is going to be previous. So, cause current node dot next will eventually, the next node will eventually be null when we loop through the whole thing and the last node will be previous. So we're gonna return prev cause that'll be a reference to our new head. And previs dot next will be equal to you know everything before it, and you know hopefully that makes sense. It makes sense to me. 
So hopefully it makes sense to you. Watch my leak code video. I might have explained it better, but just think about it. You're looping through the whole thing and you're setting the next notes to the previous notes. So that obviously reverses it, but you're still making sure you're looping in a linear fashion. And then you just return the last node because at the end of it, you'll be at the head note. You know what I mean, right? If you're going one, two, three, four, five, and then you just set two's next to one, three's next to two, four's next, and then you get to five, you just return five as the head and it looks like this at the end. There you go. Thank you for watching. Uh, check out the next video. We're gonna probably get into some harder stuff than this. And yeah, that's it. See ya.